Okay. All the lessons are being recorded for your benefit, by the way, just letting you know. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. What was your question, sir? Uh, I forgot. You forgot. Okay. Okay, so you asked... I didn't really what... have one. I didn't really have one. Well, you had you asked to ask a question before online. So your question was, what is modulus? So yeah, what is modulus that? is like division, but not exactly. So you already know what division is, right? What is division, by the way? It's like it's like um a fast way of subtraction. Okay. Another way of thinking of division is the opposite or the reverse of multiplication. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So it's like the times table, but instead of getting the answer in the middle of the table, you're looking at the top and the the top and the side. Okay. So if you had if we had the times table and I told you what is 144 divided by 12, then you would look at the times table, you would look for the number at uh, for 100 and 44 and then you would look at the you would look at the top of the table and the side of the table right and then you would have the answer or or if you memorize the times table then you would know okay yeah like like if you see count how many um pixels are at the top of my screen times the one the ones on the side of my screen then then that's how many pixels are are total on my screen Right, something like that. Pixels. Now, modulus is like division, but not exactly. So if I asked you, what is 9 modulus 3? Do you know what the answer would that be? What do you think 9 modulus 3 would be? 3, because 9 divided by 3 is 3. Right. Nine, uh, no, 3 goes into 9 cleanly three times. Three times. Then is there a remainder? No. No, there's no remainder. Okay. So when you do modulus, nine modulus three, the answer would be zero. Okay. Because three goes into nine three times without oh, a remainder. And modulus is like the remainder, basically. Right, right. What modulus the is the remainder. Is. But in order to get the remainder, you have to know how to divide. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. doing long so, division drills right now, actually, in my, okay. in my math notebook. Well, your math teacher, your math teacher, whoever's teaching you math, they wouldn't like me because you know what my, man's, what my answer to math is? What? The computer does it. We don't need to know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, we have to know we need to, to understand. We need, right. Well, we need to understand what it does, but the computer does it. And, and in the real world, the computer does, computers do most of the math. You have to understand the math, but you don't have to do the math. The computer does it. Like most you, of the, the, the well, thing in the computer that does math the most is the calculator. Well, <laughs> when you get older, you're going to realize how much math is done by computers. It's a lot. Most of the math is done by computers now. Is it like okay. however many pixels are on my screen? Well, it's more um, like it's more important than that. It's like... Um, how do you build a bridge? So in order to build a bridge, the mechanical, the civil engineer has to do a lot of math. But if the civil engineer had to do all the math to build the bridge, it would take forever. So the computer does it. That's why we have computers today. The computers do most of it. The civil engineer has to understand the math and has to make sure that the computer is doing the math correctly. What about the Great Wall of China? That, that's Right, someone, well, um, they didn't have computers. In ancient China, they didn't have computers. So they had, I think they had the abacus. So they had, uh, they had to do everything abacus. by, you know. But anyway, um, so modulus. So another way to to learn modulus is uh, to play a game. Okay. So uh, if we had more than, if it was just more than two of us, it'd be it'd be more fun. But so here's how it's gonna go. Okay. So it's a counting game. So every time. It's your turn, and it's a number that's divisible by three. You don't say three or six or nine. What do you say? Fizz. Fizz. Very good. So every time a oh, number is a multiple of five, what do you say? Buzz. Right. 
What do you say when it's a multiple of 15? Fizz buzz. Fizz buzz, okay. And if you notice, fizz buzz is three times five. Fizz three, buzz five. So fizz you buzz is 15. You explained okay. that in the video. Well, okay. <laughs> I didn't understand That's most of the video. Okay, I wasn't expecting you to understand everything. It's just to yeah, give you an overall I, view. I, I understood 0% of it. I don't think you understood 0% of it. I'm pretty sure I, I did. understood I, something. I, I put that in the message, remember? Yeah, it, it, I remember. It makes zero sense. Right. Well, that's why I'm here to make, se to make sense, uh, to, make, uh, to make it sensical to you. Okay, Send so me. we'll start off. So you'll be the first and I'll be the second. Okay. So what do you do? You count off. What do you say One. first? So I'm going to say two. Fizz. Four. Buzz. Fizz. Oh. oh, you're not oh. paying attention. Let's try again. <laughs> you start. One. Two. Um, fizz. Four. Buzz. Fizz. Seven. Eight. Fizz. Buzz. Um, eleven. Fizz. Um, thirteen. Fourteen. Fizz buzz. 16. Is 17. 16 correct? I'm testing you. It's not a multiple of, yeah, it's not a multiple of three. Not a multiple of three. 16 is 16, right? Okay. Yeah, it's just 16. 16 is 16, okay. 17. Fizz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are you paying attention? Yeah. What number 18. are you? 19. Buzz. 21. Oh, no. 21? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Who's out? Yeah. Who's Me. out today? Me. You're out. Okay. Okay. Well, once you practice doing it more, now with Fizz Buzz, Think about it for a moment. With fizz buzz, when you get to the number three, six, nine, ten, five, ten, fifteen, uh, eighteen, twenty-one, what is the first thing that you're checking for? If it's if it's a multiple of three, five, or eight, or fifteen. Whoa, whoa, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's do it. You're you're jumbling it all together. What do you check for first? Is the number a multiple of three. Three. That's the first thing you're checking for, right? Yeah, because you have to check for fizz first, and then buzz. Not and then fizz buzz. Not necessarily. That's the way. That's the way. What are you? Are you a computer or a human being? The second. Are you a computer today? I am the second option. Are you? You're, are you? Am I talking to a computer or am I talking to a human being? Well, you're saying it to a computer. I don't but know. You could be faking. You could be. You could be a advanced AI. Tricking me, you know. The videos, videos can be faked, you know, right? Videos can be faked, right? How do you know I'm a real human being? Have you met me in real life? No. No. Have I met you in real life? No. No. Like, here's how you can you can find out if if I'm if I'm a real human being or not. Okay. <laughs> that's supposed to convince me? No, that doesn't mean anything. I didn't know the function. That didn't know. That doesn't convince me. Okay. Look, so the way that I... Okay, so let's... I'm sorry, let's finish. So you check for three first. Then what do you check for next? You check for fizz. Then what do you check for next? Oh, buzz. Buzz. You're checking, is it a divisible by three? Then you check, is it divisible by five? And then what is the last thing you check for? Fizz buzz. Is it divisible by 15? Okay. So where a human being thinks, right? A human thing. You have a meat computer, right? When meat. you have a meat computer, <laughs> then what do you do is you go from the lowest number to the highest number because that's how human beings think, okay? Lowest number to the highest number, okay? But as you said in the video, the, the computer doesn't have a problem with doing the highest number first. Right. Has no problem doing that, okay? So you saw the video. Now you claim you didn't understand anything. 
but only a little bit. Only a little bit. Okay. Okay. Let's. Okay. So, so it's not zero. It's not zero. It's a little bit. Okay. So what? How does a computer do it? What does the computer check for first? Fizzbuzz. Why does the computer check for Fizzbuzz first? Um, because it's a multiple of three and. Five. Oh no no no! Why does why does the why does the computer check for fifteen first? Why? I do not know. You do not know. Okay. So the way that the computer works, and I'll share I'll share the screen. I'll start sharing. Uh, one second. Oops, I'm sorry. Share. Can you see my screen? No, not yet. Yeah, there's a lag. I'm sorry. See anything Can you yet? See me? Do you see my screen yet? Yep. Okay. Now this is in JavaScript, not Java. JavaScript and Java are two different languages, although similar. This is JavaScript. What's now, the when you, I'm sorry. What's the difference? Uh, well, I would say syntactically, so it looks similar, but it's not exactly the same. I don't know. Do you know Hindi and Urdu? I know Hindi. Urdu is similar to hindi but it's not exactly the same True. they share a lot of similarities True. okay but they're not the same they're not the same so in javascript like for example uh let me i'm sorry let me make this bigger so you can see this i don't i don't see what makes um a coding language different from one from each other well well, event, eventually you'll know the difference, okay? Eventually, that's what the worksheet that I gave you, that's one of the things it's supposed to start to, to start to teach you. It's gonna teach you that different languages are different. I mean, the coding concepts are the same, but the languages are different, okay? If, if, uh, if uh, the concept of uh, a computer, right? is yeah. the same in every language, right? Mm -hmm. But different languages have a different word for a computer. In French, it's, uh, well, you, you know French, right? So what's the French word for computer? I don't know. It's a uh, ordinateur. Oh yeah, we, we, we had this thing where, where we were, we were, um, we had to name common items around the house. Right, um, right, right, right. Okay, my French is not that great, but so, you know, so uh, don't, you know, so if it's, if I mispronounce anything in French, you'll have to excuse me. I don't, I don't really know. Now, okay. So, so in English, we say computer or PC, right? Or Mac, right? So in French, they use, what well, actually in French, in France, in, you know, French speakers will say Mac, PC also. But the word, so if you translate computer into French, you don't say computer, you write ordinateur, okay? Now, now, if you look at the code, if you look at the code that I've highlighted on the left, right? This first part here, where it says, if, if num modulus 15 equals zero. So what is it checking for? Wait, num equals num 15. is a variable. Yeah. So we tell the computer the number is, for example, three. So what? So when the computer gets to this line three, what do you think the computer is doing? Um, when, when I get to line three, what do I think the computer? What is the computer doing? It's doing num, the percentage sign, the percentage sign that that represents modulus. So if I say, so if I say nine modulus three, I would use instead of modulus instead of the word modulus, I'm I use the percentage symbol as modulus. So it's so you want to read it if num modulus fifteen equals zero. What do you think that's 
line three. What do you think that line is doing? What is it checking for? Mm, I don't know. Well, what is Fizzbuzz? Fizzbuzz is the game and a problem, basically. What is the number that Fizzbuzz represents? When we play Fizzbuzz, when do you say Fizzbuzz? 15. When the what is 15? Um, wait, wait, when the what is 15? We're playing the oh, game. The is, I, is, I say the 14. If what, I say 14, number? right, it's a multiple of 15, right? So if num modulus 15 equals zero, what do you think that means? Wait, if num mo wait, what's modulus again? <laughs> I forget. Remainder, remember remainder. Oh, remainder. So, so what's num 15, What's 15 modulus 15? 15 remainder 15 is, tw is 30. No, 15 remainder 15 is not 30. What's the remainder? If I divide 15 by 15, what do I get? What's the remainder? One. No, zero. Wait, there is no remainder. Remainder. Zero. There is no remainder. It's zero. Okay. So when we're playing the FizzBuzz game, what you're doing is trying to figure out what the computer... The computer doesn't know what FizzBuzz or FizzBuzz. All it's really doing is doing the modulus math. Okay. <laughs> so if you were a computer and my number was two and then your number was three, what are, you're, the, you're a computer, right? So okay, what are so you actually doing? You have to, you get the number three, and then what do you do with the number three? Three. I turn it into the letter fit. I mean, not the, the word fizz. But how do you know it's fizz? What is the first thing you need to do first? Mm -hmm. What are you checking for? De Determ. Uh, um, I'm checking whether it's a, whether it's a, um, fizz buzz or fizz buzz, but I don't need. But how to do you do that? How do you do, How do you figure out if it's fizz buzz? What do you have to do? Um, what math do you have to do? Multiplication. Not multiplication. Division. Not well. It's not division. It's actually modulus, right? Oh. So you're the computer. I say three, and then what do you do first? You you mm -hmm. ask you do what kind of math do you do? Modulus. Right. You do modulus math. Okay. So if num modulus fifteen equals zero what do you think can you tell can you tell me what in english that means if Wait, num no. modulus 15 equals zero what do you think that means in english it means if num remainder number fi number if, if the number, number if number remainder fifth right if right number fifth, remainder 15 equals zero then what does that mean it means the 15, um, the number, it means 15 the number, the number 15, not the number 15, whatever the number is. The number is 15. If it, no, not 15. If the remainder, if the modulus of, fifth, of the number is zero, what does that mean? There's if I give you the remainder. number 15, then what are you going to do with that number? Check the modulus. Right. So what are you checking for? 15 modulus 15 is equal to what? Zero. Zero. So what does that mean? That means mo the modulus of, of 15 is zero. Right. 15 modulus 15 is zero. So then what does the computer supposed to say? What are you supposed to say when we play the game? What are you supposed to respond with? Fizzbuzz. Fizzbuzz, right. So Fizz if if num is mod if num modulus fifteen is equal to zero, then what do we do on line four? What do we do on line four? Line four, line four. Re Wait, what is that? Return. Um, fi fancy. So we word. want the computer to say what? What do we want the computer to say? Um. Fizzbuzz. Fizzbuzz, okay. Fizzbuzz. So let's go to line five, line five. So what do you think line five does? I don't know. Well, look at it. What does line five does? Read it. Um, else if. Don't forget, um, forget about the else. Just focus on the if. 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 Number. If number modulus three equals zero. 
and and number. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Oh um. So what do you? So what is the computer supposed to say if it's fizz, uh, fizz, fizzy? Fizzy right. drink. And so what is the line seven? What does line seven check for? Uh, line seven. Um, it it checks the modulus of five. Right. It is, say, is the uh, is number divisible by five? And if it's divisible for five, then we say buzz. buzz okay. Buzz, 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 buzz. Okay. So we have this. We so we have this code that checks for fizz buzz, then fizz, then buzz. Now let's use our brain. Let's use our meat computer. Why do you think we have to do? Why do we have to check for fizz buzz first, then fizz, then buzz? Why do you think the computer has to do it this way? Um, it can't. It can't. If we do it, let's. Let me ask you this question: If the computer checks for fizz buzz, then fizz buzz, what do you think? What kind of problem do you think we'll have? What would be the problem if we have the computer check for fizz first, then buzz, then fizz buzz? What do you think the problem would be? I don't know. So if so, if let's say the co code is in the reverse, you're a computer, okay? I give you the number 15, and then what do you check? Let's say you check, what do you want to check for first? Um, I should check for fit. Um, okay. Let's say you check for fizz. Okay, right. Let's say you check, check fizz check first. first. Let's say you check fizz first. Then what happens? What are you gonna what What are you gonna say? Um, um, fifteen. I give you the number fifteen. Then you check for fizz first. And what happens? What do you say? I I say fizz buzz. No, you're I gonna say check. Fizz. You're gonna say, say fizz, fizz, right? Because that's the first thing you're gonna check. Then did you give the right answer? No, 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 no. no, no. no. You gave the wrong answer, right? But because you're a human being, right? Mm -hmm. The way your meat computer works, right? It's like that. It's not like it. It's nothing like what the computer does. Okay. What the what does the what does the computer do? What does it do? Can it do? Can it think like you? Is this the way the computer thinks? Is that you? No. No, nothing like, it's nothing like you. Okay. So if we have it check for fizz first, what happens? Is the code correct or wrong? Wrong. Because it's not doing what we want it to do, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so, so the idea with the computer you have to understand is the idea of sequence. What do you, what does sequence mean? Can you tell me? Um, sequence. When you're watching a movie, right? Have you seen Star Wars? Um, only if I'm bored. <laughs> only if you're bored. <laughs> I've seen okay. a little bit of The Mandalorian. Okay, The Mandalorian. Okay. Maybe, so, maybe have, Yoda you already, is have you already seen the part where the where lit baby Yoda, right? Yeah. What now, about baby Yoda? Now, do you see baby Yoda at the in the first episode? Mm, no. No. As, baby Yoda I, doesn't show up until the end, right? Much yeah. later on in the season, right? No, he said he shows up in like episode two or three. Oh, okay, episode, episode two or three, but not in the first episode, right? No. So what do you think would happen if Baby Yoda showed up in the first episode, the first scene of the first episode? Would that make sense? No, because they, they, don't know, they don't show how they find him. Right, very good. So when you watch a TV show or a movie or read a book, there's a sequence, right? A beginning. You mean like a part two? What? You mean like a part two? Right, well, a sequence, a beginning, a middle, and the end. If I tell a joke, mm -hmm. if I say... The chicken, uh, the to get to the other side, why did a chicken cross the road? Did that make sense? Mm, no. No. First, I was I'm about to say, to say maybe. hey, Tanae, why did the chicken cross the road? And then what are you supposed to say? Then I'm supposed to say, like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, you don't know. Well, Tanae, the chicken crossed the road to get to the other side. Ba -bum -bum. Very bad, a very bad joke, right? 
But if I <laughs> give you the punchline first and then tell you the setup or the premise, then the joke is completely wrong, right? I have to do the premise punchline, premise setup first, then I, then I do the punchline, right? Baby Yoda doesn't show up in the first scene of the first episode. He shows up at the second end of the second third episode, right? That not makes sense. At, well, yeah, it's kind of at the end. Right. Well, kind of in the middle, not at the beginning, right? So, with the, the way the computer works is you have to really think about sequence. What is the first thing I have to do? And then what is the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the five? Okay, the computer cannot do everything all at one time. Okay? The computer can only do one thing at a time, okay? When the computer looks like it's doing more than two things at a time, it's faking it. It's actually doing one thing and then it's doing another thing and another thing, but it's never it's not capable of actually doing two things exactly at the same time. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like you can't do you can't listen to two TV shows or movies at the same time. Well, I'm pretty sure there's somebody who can do that, but I can't. Can you? Uh, you stop screen sharing. I stopped screen sharing? Oh, well, uh oh. There might be oh, a glitch. Wait. I can oh, see wait. you. I, yeah, I. Oh, yeah. Um, you, it might you, be a lag. There might be lag. You, you went back on again. You went back on again. Okay. Can you tell me, can you repeat what sequence? What is sequence? If I ask you what sequence is, what is sequence? Sequence is like, um, um, you, um, doing stuff so it makes sense. Very good. I like that. Doing stuff that makes like, sense. Now, who does it have to make sense to? Hmm? Everybody. Well, who? What? Everybody. Well, yes, that's true. But I mean, this is a coding class. Who so sequence is talking about what? What? Why do you have to understand sequence so you can get what to do what? A computer to do my bidding. <laughs> <laughs> right, computer to do your bidding. Okay, that sounds very, that sound. you sounded like a, you sounded like Darth Vader right there. But yeah, that's exactly right. To get the computer to do what we want to do. So in order to do that, we have to understand sequence, okay? So, so in this FizzBuzz example, it teaches you, it's a good, it's, it's good to learn FizzBuzz because it teaches you the computer doesn't think like us. It thinks in a completely different way. Because mm -hmm. the way we do it is we check for is three, is the number divisible by three? Mm -hmm. Then is the number divisible by five? Why do we do it that way? Why do, you, why do human beings do it that way? Go from three to five to fifteen. Why do we do it that way? You are trying to start at the at the um, lowest number. Yeah, we tend to start at the lowest number, right? We do. Th yeah, we start at the beginning, right? So when we think of the beginning, we're just thinking of of the of the lowest number first, because it's easier, right? Mm -hmm. Is it easy to divide by fifteen? Is it easy to divide by fifteen? Can you divide by fifteen easily? Non-lesser Einstein. You can see my screen, right? Yep. Look at the right side. What what number did I punch into the number box? One hundred eleven. Okay. Can you do? What do you think it one hundred and eleven is? Is it fizz buzz or fizz buzz? Can you do that in your head? <laughs> it's fizz. It's fizz. How did you know that? I I did a hundred and eleven divided by three a, f a few days ago. Oh, okay. And I remembered the answer. I'll give you a harder number. Five hundred and forty-seven. What's five hundred and forty-seven? Okay, let me, let me see this. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. What's five hundred and forty-seven? Is that fizz? Is that fizz buzz or fizz buzz? Wait, wait, wait. Tanay, I don't have all day. <laughs> it's it's neither. It's just the same number? Yes, just another number. It's just another number? Probably I think you're correct. Okay. 
I, I just added the numbers together to see if it was divisible right. by... Right, well, yeah. <laughs> That's very good, right. That's a good math trick. Okay. So the way the computer works... Okay, that's enough to name. <laughs> I get okay. it. So, so the way the computer works, mm -hmm. sequence is important. If you do it, if you, if, if I coded, if I had the computer check for fizz first, then what would happen with the code? It would get messed up because if, if it was fizz and fizz buzz, then like if it was a 15, then, 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 then the computer would say fizz because it's divisible by um, three. Now, do you think this is the only solution? The way I coded it here, do you think that's the only solution? Um, no. No. Very good. Wait. You're a very smart boy. No, it's not the only solution. Okay. Wait. There's more than one solution. There's more than one solution. Solutions you code, for your code? I'm sorry? You mean solutions for your code? Well, this is, uh, this is what happens. This is the reason, the practical reason why you need to understand FizzBuzz is because, is because it's a common coding interview question. Okay? Mm-hmm. Today, I'm going to uh, send by chat. I'm going to send you. Oh, you want me I'm to go? I'm going to send you a private link, okay? Oh, you want me to go back to um, that Python? Oh, I want thing? you to. Well, let me, let me send this chat to you. I'm going to send it through chat. There, so you just have to click on it, and then it'll open up a tab. Wait, um, in what chat? Zoom chat. Uh, okay, I sent it to you, okay? Uh, yep, I see it. Okay, so you just click okay. on it, and then it'll open up a tab, okay? okay. Um, we're not sharing the Zoom. I'm not sharing anything Zoom. We're sharing using Python Tutor. We, we did it before, remember? I clicked on it. Okay, so type something in the Python it, Tutor chat so I can see that you're there. It just there. said copy message. I'm sorry, what? It just said copy message? I don't see you in the link though. There, wait, what color is the link that you send me? Is it just like normal or is it like a blue or red? Um, Cause here it says HTTP. Yeah. Slash slash www. It does, you can't click on it? Dot, yeah, when I click on it, nothing happens. Um, okay, try copying it, you know, try copying and pasting into your address bar then. I thought it, I thought it was, I thought it'd be clickable. Okay, it's not letting me copy it now. It's not letting you copy it? Okay. Wait, how do I copy it? Do I just... Okay, sorry about that. I thought it'd be clickable. My, my bad, my bad. Uh... My bad. Okay, one second, I'll, uh... Frost. I will, uh... I will uh, go into. Wait, do I, what do I have go to do? Go to Google Classroom and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, send it to you in the stream. Okay, I'm going to Google Classroom. Master Han. Thought that would be. Uh, I don't know. So I'm going to the Google Classroom. <sighs> It's loading. Yeah? Uh, Master Han? Yeah. One um, second. Let me... I'm adding the link now. Sorry about that. I thought that would it would be a quick um, link. I'm trying to go into Google Classroom, but it's not letting me. It's not letting you. <laughs> We're having a lot of technical difficulties today. I don't know why. All it's doing is loading. It's just loading. Okay, I sent it to you. I sent it to you in the stream. 
So it should be like before. It's a you just click on the link and then it'll open it. It should open up a tab for you. Okay, so I'm just waiting for it. It's not really working. Okay, well, let me just, I'll just continue. Um, just let me know when it's done. So the idea uh, with FISBA is it's a common coding interview question. So let's say I'm, let's say I'm the tech lead or interviewer, technical yep. manager or product, or your mom's a product manager. So let's say I'm a product. She doesn't actually does any. She doesn't hire any coders anymore. She doesn't do any. Someone else does that. She's a much higher level. But let's say I'm a product manager and I'm I'm interviewing you for a software develop you know software engineering job, right? So one of the common questions uh -huh. with today. So we're in a you know we're in a conference room. There's a whiteboard, right? Imagine you have to imagine there's a whiteboard, and then I tell you today, fizzbuzz. I point at the whiteboard and I say fizzbuzz. Then what do you think you're supposed to do? Um, I have to explain what fizzbuzz no, is. No, not explain. <laughs> You should already, you don't, you do, I don't want you to explain it to me. What do you want, what do I expect you to do on the whiteboard? Today, FizzBuzz. Oh, write, write down what FizzBuzz means. No, what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to write on the whiteboard? Um, um, three equals Fizz and five equals Buzz. Right, you're supposed to, no, not that. You're supposed to code, write code that does what? The, 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 fizz the numbers from one to one hundred. Um, the, code, the code is gonna have is supposed to do what? It's gonna have the numbers from one to one hundred, and what do I want the program to tell me? Um, it's gonna have the num. Um, don't mind that noise. My brother's just playing with his um toy crane. Um, um, can you keep it down, please? <laughs> Do you see? Do you is a is the Google is Google Classroom loading up yet? Um, no, it's just it's just a blank white screen. Still a blank white screen. Okay. Um, so it'll have the numbers. Okay, one. you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just going to uh, I'm just gonna share my screen then. I don't know why. Um, okay, we're having technical difficulties today. So, can you see my screen? Oh uh, no! I'm, I, it might take a while. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go back to Zoom. Yeah, go back to Zoom, and then you'll be able to see my screen. <laughs> yeah, I. Okay. Okay, wait. So we're having some technical difficulties, so we'll just. Uh... Let me. Let me try. Let me try to go back in, into the um okay. In okay. The Google Classroom. Okay. Oh come on. I'm I'm gonna refresh this page. Yeah, try that. That's a good idea. Try that. And nothing happened. I'm gonna go back to Zoom. Okay. Go back to Zoom. That's fine. Wait. Wait, what's it called? Like, I think I can search it up. Well, we're running out of time, so I don't want you to keep wasting your time trying to search for it. I'll just share my screen and then just look at it, okay? Okay. Okay. So, so if we want to, so, so, so a very simple way of doing it would be, let's say we use num as a variable, right? what number so give me a number an integer to uh, check so we want to check for if it's fizz buzz or fizz buzz fizz buzz or fizz buzz so give me a number integer mm, i'm just i'm just gonna go for something random here 1021 1000 okay 21 okay so 1021 okay so if we want the computer to check for if it's fizz buzz um so one of the so this is python not javascript anymore although the code is you know not that much different so in python we would do if right and then would say num so I if can't... num if num and then what do you think would go after num huh 
What would go after num? If num what? Um, what do you think we would type after num? Fizz. Yeah, so if how num do we get the computer to check if it's fizz, buzz, or fizz, buzz? We want the computer to check if it's fizz, buzz. So what do we have to do? If num what? If num equals fizz. But how, how would we do that? Just put the, um, an equal sign and um, the word Is that fizz. what we did? Is that what the code did in the JavaScript? Uh, no. So no. What does it do? If num what? If num. What do we have to do with num first? We have to. Um, Today, you're making me dizzy. I'm sorry. <laughs> if num what? What do we have to do first with num? What do we have to check for? If num is what? If num is is fizz. But how do we do that? How do we get the computer to do that? What is the math operation we have to do? Num what? One plus plus zero plus two plus one. That's not what the code did in the JavaScript program. No. What is it? We wanted to see. How do I, if we, first thing, what is the first thing we want the computer to do? Check for what? What is the first thing we want the computer to do? To check, check for? Check for fizz. Well, that's what we do, human beings, but what does the computer have to do first? Check for what? I just found out the answer. Should I tell it to you? Okay, what is the answer? Um, if you add it together, it's neither. Because it's four. What is? The answer. If you add. Oh, the answer. Right, right. right. No, no, no. Tanae. Hmm? You for, you're forgetting the whole point of it. Who do we want to figure out the answer? The, com P -P 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 the computer. Okay. If I give you 1,000 numbers and I want you to tell me which numbers are fizz, buzz, or fizz, buzz, do you want to do that? No. No, you don't. <laughs> so what is the what is the math operation we have to use? If num what? Num what? Num what's the math operation? Um oh my goodness. Starts with an M. Uh, you I didn't mean, know what remember you didn't know what it was? No, I can't remember. Because my brother keeps on popping in, so it's so we have multiplication, we have division. And what is the new math operation I taught you today? Um, modulus. Modulus. Okay, right. So what do we need the computer to do? Num what? Num what? Um, num modulus um, ten, 1021. Well, num is, num is 1021. What is num? What is what's inside num? What um 1021. Right. That's 1021, okay? So num modulus what? What do we need to do with modulus? Num modulus what? Num modulus. We want to check if it's fizzba. So what do we need to do? Num modulus. So we need num modulus um 3. No, that would be fizz. I'm saying fizz buzz. We need the computer to check oh, for fizz not. buzz first. What? I thought you were saying fizz. Num modulus 15. 15, right? Okay. But then that's not, but that's not it, right? So we need to check. We, so we want the computer to do modulus, right? Mm -hmm. Modulus 15 on the number. Then what do we need? What do we want it to do after that? Wait. What do we, what do we get? What does num... If, no, if, if num is 15, let's say if num is 15, then what do, we, what do we want the computer to check for? If num is 15, what do we want the computer so to check for? So if 15 modulus 15, what happens? Then, then it would be zero. Right. So how would we know when num is fizzbuzz? So we do num modulus 15, then how do we know if that number is fizzbuzz? What do we need to check for? Um, the modulus. Right. But what is the answer we want? 
Every time, if every time modulus, if 15 is num, so num 15 modulus 15 is equal to what? 15 modulus 15 is equal is, to what? Um, you said it before. Oh, yeah. Um, 15 modulus 15 is equal to what? What's the remainder? Zero. Zero. Okay. So what does that tell us? So the computer needs to check if the num, if num is equal to what? Wait, so the computer wants to check if num is equal to um, fizz buzz. Right. We want the computer, when would the computer say, will tell us if I, we give it a number, your computer, I give you the number 16. And then what is the first thing you're going to check for? You're going to ask yourself, is 16 modulus what? Is 16 modulus 15. But, but what do you do with the remainder? What do you need to check for with the remainder? Um, is that, is that, um, um, fizz or Is that, no, well, before that, is the remainder equal to what? Um, is the remainder equal to, to, to fizz was? Not the remainder. How do we know 15 is fizz buzz? Because the remainder is equal to what? Zero. Zero, right. So when it's not equal to zero, what do we know? That it's not fizz buzz. It's not fizz buzz, right? So it's binary, right? Either it's fizz buzz or it's not. And then we check for fizz and then buzz, right? Mm -hmm. So if num is so if num is 15. And then 15 modulus 15 is zero. Then what do we? So how do we? So what do we need to put after that? So we need to get the remainder, and then we need to check for what? What do we need to check for? We so need to get the remainder. Is the remainder equal to what? Is the remainder equal to um um fizz buzz? Not fizz buzz. Fizz. Is the remainder equal to what? I give you the number 16. Oh, uh, is it is, equal to 16? Not 16. So if I give you the number 16, and then what is the first thing you do? Sequence. You have to do things step by step. The computer can only do one thing at a time, step by step. It's not, it's very dumb. It's not very smart. Mm. So I give you a number, and then what is the first thing you have to do? What is the so, first step you have to take? Check, check if it is um, FizzBuzz. But how does the computer do that today? You can't shout at the computer, FizzBuzz, is this FizzBuzz? No, the computer has no idea what you're talking about. So because what is the first thing we have to do? I give you a number, and then what do you have to, what is the math operation you have to do? The math operation I have to do is take the variable, Right, num and the number. Right, num, and then what do you do with num? Um, I do mod modulus um sixteen. Not sixteen. Mm, Whatever the number is, we do modulus what on it? Modulus itself. Not itself. If num modulus what? what? Why, why, why did I type if num modulus 15? Why did I do that? Um, to see if the remainder was 15. Not the remainder. If the remainder is equal to what? We, mm. get, we look for the remainder, and then what do we need to look for the remainder? How do we know it's fizz buzz? If I give you 15 and then you do modulus, what is the mm. remainder? If you give me 15. I'm sorry? Wait, could you repeat If I that? give you, look, look, line one, right? What is num equal to? 15. I put 15 in num, right? Mm -hmm. Then what do I do in line two? Num modulus 15. So what are we looking for? Um, equals. Equals, the, right? Equals to what? Um, zero. Zero, very good. So what does that tell you? Why, why do we need to check for that? Why do we need to check if it's that if the remainder is equal to zero? Why? Um, 
What does that tell us? Wait. If, wait, why do we need to check for a remainder? The computer, the computer can't look at a number and know, oh, that's fizz. The computer can't do that. The computer ha can, has to do one step at a time. First, the computer has to do the modulus. Mm -hmm. So num modulus 15, and then it finds out, then it gives you whatever the remainder is, right? So if num is 15, what is the remainder? If num is 15, what is right, the look at the line one and line two. Line one says num is 15. We put the number 15, integer 15, into num. And then we're taking num and then div, um, doing modulus 15. So what is 15 modulus 15? Zero. OK. So well then after I do that, what is the second thing the computer does? It Print takes the. Hmm? Print fizz buzz. No, look here. Wherever. So first I do the modulus, right? Mm -hmm. That's the first thing it does. And then it takes the answer, and then what does it do? It gets the remainder of whatever the remainder is, and then it checks to see if it's equal to what? Fizz buzz. Not fizz buzz. Fizz. No, 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 not fizz buzz. Look, first it checks is num module, what is num modulus 15? Num modulus 15. Okay, whatever that is, right? The remainder, right? Whatever no. that is. Then it checks, is that equal to what? Is that equal to 15? Is that equal to 15, right? No, not 15, I'm sorry. It's not equal to, if whatever, whatever it is, is it equal to what? Is it equal to, hmm. Like we have to think like a computer. You can only do one thing at a time. Only one thing at a time. Okay. I give you the number. I give you so so what is num? I put I put the number 15 inside num, right? That's the first thing I do, right? You put the number 15 inside of num. num yeah. The variable num, right? Then what is the second step I take? Um num um, modulus 15. Okay. So what is so what is num modulus 15? If num is 15, what is Num modulus 15. What does that, what is the, uh, what, what does that, ha what happens to that? Mm -hmm. What is 15 modulus, what is num modulus 15 now? Num modulus 15. Right. Is. <laughs> if num is equal to 15, then what is num modulus 15? If num is equal to 15. What is num modulus 15? Or what is 15 modulus 15? Or what is? We did it. We just did it before a few minutes ago. It's not, a, I'm not trying to trick you. Zero. Right, zero, right? So what is the second thing after I do that? So I have zero. And then what do I do with zero? What am I checking for? To see if it's, if it's fizz, if it's No, equal. no, you're jumping ahead. You're jumping ahead. We're not doing that yet. So I have it, zero, and then I what am I checking for? So to see if it's equal to something other than this was. And I know that. Well, look at line two, right? Line two, the first thing we do is num modulus 15, and then what is the second thing after I do that? First, I do num modulus 15, and then I do what? I check to see if that is equal to what? Mm. I don't know. If num modulus 15 is, if I give you the number 16, what is num modulus 15? If you gave me the number 16, what is num modulus 15? One. One, right? So then what does that tell you? Is that then, then, then is, uh, is one equal to zero? No. No. So then what happens? Are we going to print FizzBuzz? Yes. No, we're not. No, when, not when, when am I going to print FizzBuzz? Um, after you find a number that, that, is equal to, that is equal to one or something. No, where does this I say that equal, is equal to, to one? Zero. Why, do, why, am I ask, 
why am I checking for is the number equal to zero? Why am I checking for that? What does when when num modulus 15 equals zero, what does that tell me? That um that you can divide um the remainder of 15 divided by um right the remainder of num divided by 15 is equal to what zero zero so what does that tell me then that tells me what num num is what num num is i don't know it's right there if no. num modulus 15 equals zero print fizz buzz hmm. Oh, so, so if you get a zero, then print fizz buzz? Right. The computer has no idea what fizz buzz is. The computer can only check, do these math operations, math and logic operations, okay? Mm -hmm. So the first we tell the computer, what is num modulus 15? What is that? Is that zero or not zero? Then we ask the, then we tell the computer, if the if the remainder is equal to zero, print what? If the fizz buzz, print fizz buzz. Right. So the computer has no idea what fizz buzz, buzz, fizz, it has no idea. The computer can only do what? It can do modulus. And then mm -hmm. what else can it do? Division. Well, not, yeah, it can do division, but um, we can printing. check for equality, right? Is Print. this number equal to this number? Is this number greater than this number? Is it this number is less than this number, okay? So we're telling the computer first, what is num modulus 15? Is it divisible? I mean, what is the remainder? And then if the remainder is equal to zero, then we know what? What do we know? 15, num, whatever the number is, and we do modulus 15, if the remainder is equal to zero, what does that tell us? So if you do num modulus 15. And, and if that's equal to zero, what does that tell us? That number is what? Um, fizz buzz. Fizz buzz, right? So the, can the computer, can, is the computer doing what you're doing? Um, what do you mean by that? Can the computer do the same thing that you do? No. No, not exactly the same, not at all. So the, what the computer can do is what? What can the computer do? Hmm. What can the computer do, Tanay? What it, kind of math can it do? It can do um, modulus math. Can do modules. What else? It can do also what? Um, it can do it can do basically all types of math. It can do addition. It can do subtraction. It can do division. It can do multiplication, and it, it can, can check if graphing. two numbers are equal to each other. Right? Huh? Yeah. It can check if two numbers are equal to each other. Yeah. Basically. Okay. It can do very basic logic. Right but it can't think like you at all, okay? No. So what is, we're gonna finish, I'm sorry, we're going over. We're gonna finish, uh, what, what, I'm sorry. What is the computer actually doing? How does a computer think? Um, it thinks like a computer. But how does it, why, how would you describe how it thinks? Binary. Very good, binary, okay. Also, well, also, what is, do you remember the S word I ta taught you? S word, what is the S word I taught you? Sequence. Sequence, okay. So it's, think, it's very binary, right? Yep. Yes, no, on, off, black, white. And then also it thinks in sequence, right? You can, you can actually, your brain is capable of doing more than one thing at a time, right? But you're not always conscious of it, right? You're breathing, right? Like, I can, I can listen to you, but I can also hear, hear stuff that's outside. Right. You're capable of doing a lot of things at the same time, 
okay? Not consciously, I would say you do it unconsciously, right? The computer can't, the computer can't do anything. The computer is not able to do, do two things at exactly the same time. One minute, Master. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me just, uh, let me My just. My brother's quickly. being a little bit annoying right now, aren't it? Um, okay. So That's okay. Please. Thank you. Okay, we're finishing up. So today you have two you have two assignments. One is to is to watch a, my YouTube video, Intro to Turtle Graphics. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and the, other the other one is already gave you it to you before. It's the Python. It's Python Worksheet zero zero one. Okay. Dash four You're gonna N. get. So I want you to be familiar with all the questions and answers. Because uh -huh. you will be quizzed on that next Tuesday. And you will be expected to you will be expected to answer the questions blindfolded. Okay? Oh, come on. No, I I can make something that'll help me, but isn't that well, cheating? Just, you're just closing your eyes, that's all. Oh, like so every question, so every question. So every question you get correct, you'll get five experience points, okay? Yes. Okay. Five hundred experience points. I'm glad you're I'm glad you're uh, I'm glad you're happy, <laughs> but maybe that's a little bit of an overreaction, but okay. I need I need five hundred experience points to get to the next level. Am I correct? Well that might change. That's what I said. I might change that. But if I get a sense but if I get a sense that you are at the, you're at the, you know, you've achieved level zero, you know, I'm more than willing to, you know, move you, uh, promote move you. To level none. What? Can what I level are you right now, Tanae? Zero. No. No, yeah, not zero. zero. None. I'm at, level, none. I'm at level none. None. I get promoted to level zero. Uh, okay, let me just, uh, on level one. I'm sorry, let me just uh, record this. What? So you so what how many experience points did, did you have from last uh from uh, uh from Tuesday? 38. 38. That's your total? No, 58 yeah, is your total today. You're not you're not how? doing a very good job of keeping track. It was 38. You said I remember. Oh, I said 58 when you from all the other things. I remember you right, said Right, right, right. No, I'm saying your total now is 58. Your total oh, experience points is 58. So I so with that 58, I'm gonna give you plus 25 today, okay? So how what's your plus total 25? right now? So what's your total? So my total so plus 25 is um 78 plus plus five, which is 83. I have 83 experience. Okay, points. 83. Okay, 83. Nice. So 83, so that's uh, 83, okay. Uh, Master Han. Okay, so uh, so next Tuesday, so I mean, you, so your total right now is 83. Okay, yes, sir. Yep. You had a question, sir? Uh, yeah. Um, to... Um, so just to review, I have 20, um, I have to do that turtle thingy, turtle graphic YouTube video. Yeah, you're just watching it, that's all. And, and I have to memorize all of, all of the answers to the 16 Well, look, I'm not, ex on, try as many, I try, try to memorize, try to remember as much as you can. I mean. I'm not expecting you to memorize everything, so you know. I'm gonna memorize everything. Okay, but mem but memory memorization is important, but also comprehension is more important. Okay. What's comprehension? Actually, understanding what you memorized. <laughs> okay, so if there's nothing, is there, whatever you don't understand, I've got, of course have questions ready, and you can ask ask I've questions through. Oh, I'm sorry. I've already memorized 
Um, who made JavaScript and when? Um, okay. Guido Van Wilsom in 1991. Am I correct? <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, some of I mean some of okay great. Some of the I mean some of the things are just facts, but other things are you know it's important to memorize something because I, I need you to mem remember things so that I don't have to repeat myself all the time. But also we need to you actually need to understand things too. So that takes time. Comprehension is not immediate. Okay, I'm you're good at memorizing things, but it's important your mother and I. We want you to be able to actually understand what you're what you're memorizing. Correct? Hello. Correct. Okay. What? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Master Han, I I don't have to be the CEO of Apple or Nintendo, right? I'm sorry. What? I don't. Tanae, you can be whatever you want. Tanae, you you can be whatever you want. Just look. It's like. I'm sorry, I'm wasting a lot of time. Let me just finish with this. Tanae, uh, do you understand what birthright is? Birthright. Do you understand? Who's the eldest son in your family? Me? You you are, right? Yeah. Is your younger brother the eldest son? No, because he's younger. No, he's younger, right? He was born after you, okay? Yeah. So birthright, birthright, in a general sense, not technically, but in a general sense, the birthright. So if your parents, if your parents owned the karate school, right? Uh-huh. If they if they were both karate masters and they taught in their karate school, but then and they never taught you karate and you never learned karate and you can't do karate ever, yeah. Yeah. would that be a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. Bad. You'd be like really upset, right? Because they would never, they never taught they me. They don't want to teach you karate. They don't want to show you karate. They never want you to come near the karate school. They don't want you to meet any of your their students. They don't want you to look at any karate books. They now don't want you to look at, watch any karate movies. They That's don't so want cool. you to know anything about karate. Would that make sense today? No. No, absolutely not, right? So yeah, but if your parents... I didn't know one thing about karate. Um, okay. I know you're studying karate. If they, yeah. if they don't um allow me, what its name is? I know its name. Well, I don't. Okay, but let me finish. Yeah. So your mother was a coder. Mhm. Mm she has coders working for her, right? Yep. Yeah. Wait, she does. Okay. <laughs> just follow along with me. Just pretend. Just pretend that you know. Okay. Okay. Would it make sense for her to not want you to learn how to code? Um, no. Okay. If she's a no, that would not make sense. Okay, let's let's think about this. Let's say, let's say, let's say you learn how to code, right? Wait, what what was that about birthright? I, listen you, to me. You, listen to me. Yeah. So you're you you are your mother's son. She gave birth to you, right? Yeah. So she's a coder. Mm -hmm. She wants you to learn how to code because she sees, because she, she believes just like I do that learning how to code is valuable. Okay. Whether mm -hmm. you not, whether or not you decide to code or do it mm -hmm. as a job or do anything with code in the future, that's your business. That's your, that's your decision. Okay. But because she's your mother, she knows that it's important, like I do, it's important to, to learn how to code, okay? Even yeah. if you'd never become a coder, it's important that you learn how to code because it's very useful, okay? Now, yeah, wouldn't, now listen to me. Coder, now, then... listen, no, today, let me finish. So let's say you learn how to code, right? Yeah. You learn how to code, right? Yeah. What about your brother? Wouldn't you want to, wouldn't you want to teach your brother how to code? Only if he's up to it. Okay, let's just say he is. But but if you knew how to code and he wanted to learn how to code and he's, he asked you, Tanay, teach me how to code. And you say, no, I don't want to teach you how to code. Would that be right or wrong? That would be wrong, right? Tanay learned how to code, but Tanay doesn't want to teach me how to code. That does That's not right. He'd be angry, right? Right, he'd be angry, right? Okay, because he's your brother, 
and you know how to code, he would naturally want to learn code from you, right? Mm, yes or no? Unless he hates me. Well, let's let's assume that <laughs> let's assume let's hope that in the future you you and your brother have a good relationship and you love each other and not hate each other. Let's assume. Let's hope that's the way it is. Okay. He would want you to teach him how to code, right? Mm, maybe if he's maybe. up to it. I yes. would, let's say let's assume he does, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's what a birthright is, right? What's a? He's your brother. He's mm -hmm. your mother's son. Mm -hmm. Your mother knows how to code. You know how to code. He's going to want to learn how to code too. He wouldn't be. It would be uh, really. It would well, be really sad. Well, if you knew how to code, your mother knows how to code, but then you decided not to teach him. Yeah. Okay. So if your if your mother knows how to code and she knows that it's very valuable, whether you decide to be a coder or not in the future, then it would be it would it would be bad if she'd said, "Oh, I don't want him to learn how to code." Would that make sense? No. 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 Okay. I I I believe I believe coding is very valuable whether or not you decide to become a coder whether or not you decide to become a coder it's very valuable it's a superpower okay hmm. what do you think is it a superpower or not a superpower mm, that depends what you use it for very good it depends on what you use it for right if you do, if you use it for games it for making um Nintendo Switch games, then it's a superpower. <laughs> but if so if it's, it, if so, if you use it for anything else, it's not a superpower. Like if you if you use it to 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 make like electro to make electronics, um, then it's a superpower. If you use it to make evil robots, it's not a superpower. Well, of course, I don't. I'm not going to assume that you're going to make an evil robot. So okay. I'm gonna okay, make so you know what your homework is. Yep. So, uh, so, uh, so I expect you to. So, I expect, if you have any questions, again, you can uh, you can put them in the stream, and I will respond as soon as possible. Okay. Okay. Okay, you did a great job. Okay. 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 Have a good weekend. Um, yeah, have a good weekend. Have a good week, and uh, stay health, stay safe, and stay healthy. Okay. 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 Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.